I gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I die, I'ma touch the sky. Gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I die. <laughs> Where are you? Where are we going? Where are you? 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 Good morning, London. So, we basically landed yesterday. Today's a new, brand new day. Yesterday was a very kind of like chill, you know, like we landed type of day. Like we didn't do much, to be honest. Like we went out to grab dinner with um, Dick's and sisters. It was very much a chill day. We had like a dreadful flight. We had an eight hour layover in Denver and we had an eight hour flight to London from Denver. So I napped, I rested, and I didn't eat like a proper meal the whole day. Dude, I had like diarrhea and a freaking layover. So I basically ate like a Shake Shack burger and then like my tummy felt weird and I this is probably TMI, but whatever. But we are here, and I'm thriving, and I'm back, baby. I'm back in like my natural self. So I'm gonna take you guys along with us. Um, we have like, you know, we're gonna try to play it by ear, but we also like, I have like this whole itinerary for us to like do. So we're going to eat um, lunch first, and then we're going to this art gallery. A lot of you guys actually suggested me to go into like art galleries, which you guys already know. Like, of course I will. But. Before we continue on with the rest of our day, I'm going to show you guys how I, you know, glammed up and did my hair. Like, I'm going to show you guys all of my looks all this week. I'm going to document it for you guys. Roll the clip. visiting so I want to get a feel of it before you know like actually like making the move here and like make my decision this one is really pretty so we're gonna try and do that exactly but with black hair obviously so I'm just gonna separate that chunk I got like I brought like two hairsprays I don't know why but so we're gonna hairspray the back and just kind of tease a little bit of it I honestly love doing a bunch of different hairstyles for whatever look I'm about to put on because I feel like it definitely elevates it. Like if you do the same hairstyle for literally all your outfits, I feel like it starts to look a little boring, you know what I'm saying? Because like they see you in the same hairstyle but like a different outfit every time. So I personally always vouch for always doing your hair differently whenever it comes to whatever outfit you're wearing. Just kind of elevate it a little bit more and also it's like so much more fun to like do a bunch of different hairstyles but i do get that like not a lot of people can really do their hair it's kind of like harder um thank god like my hair is actually like very thin because if it was like thicker than it what it is right now i feel like it'd be a lot harder for me to style it because i'm working with a lot more hair you know so i'm gonna be taking the top part of my hair like this right because we need that to kind of like push it up a little bit i'm gonna take a uh, hair elastic and just kind of lightly um, put that in 
and pushing it up and then bobby pinning it. So this way it's gonna hold like the little like poof that it gives you. We're gonna take the rest of her hair and now I need a straightener to um, kind of like frame these pieces around our bun. Okay, I curled my hair a little bit. We're gonna tease our sections, right? To create more volume. So once we have this like huge chunk of mess, we're going to try to form something out of it. And hope for the best. Put a volume in everything. Okay, so once you kind of like like how it looks like, it's time for some really strong hairspray. I really don't like how this is kind of like separating right here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of hairspray on my palm or whatever, and then I'm going to smooth that down. And then take one of these little clips, um, and then you're going to kind of form it how you want it to sit. So I'm going to keep that there for a bit, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. We are wearing these like, I don't know if they're real leather, but they feel like pleather. You know what I'm saying? Because of how shiny they are. But I'm wearing this like pleather looking pants from ITs or ATs. These are actually men's jeans that I got in a size 28 because they actually like fit perfect on me. Like, and I love it. And I feel like I've literally been wearing this the whole trip. But for our top, I am wearing this like Prada little bandeau. Um, now, the problem with this... <laughs> I have like this little like pin over here because it actually fits a little bit too small on me. I, so I figured I'd just kind of like pin it like this instead of zipping it all the way up to give me some more like room to breathe. This is what we look like. Um, I'm gonna accessorize. I got this whole bag full of accessories. So we are gonna be using these Caperni and Gentle Monster collab. I love these so much, they sent it to me. It's called Dream of Jophiel. So this one says Dream. And then she has these like cross and like little dagger necklace too. So this is what it looks like. She has these like cross silver rings. And then this one right here as well. Also my nails. I have not shiny my nails. Um, they're like chrome with a bunch of like weird shit. I don't know if I should... <laughs> I think it's with rings, like I never know when to stop. Okay, so because we're doing all silver, I'm gonna switch up my earrings over here, even though like one of them is like gold, but let's see. I don't know if that looked good, but. I'm using this belt from Walkstar, and I'm just going to put it around. It kind of matches like everything with the chrome and everything, so. So this vest is from Lowlight Studios. Shout out to them. Um, I love it with this outfit. So good. For a little bit of color, I'm going to be using these heels. I mean, I'm a wadi. Um, but because we're going to be walking around to our destination and everything, I'm going to be bringing my Marnies because it's going to be way too uncomfortable, uncomfortable for me to wear these. So. Also, forgot to show you guys, I think I'm gonna be wearing the gloves with it too. Three.
His bunnies are not comfortable at all. That's all. Ma'am. Fitbixen is back. Okay, why, why am I showing you the picture? Why can you just see my Fitbixen is back, baby? Come back, come back. My jaw is getting sharp for me. Uh, you just gotta show short. I can't even stay in camera. Uh, anyways, anyways, mate. Um, we out here in the middle of nowhere. We just saw this random little beautiful place. It's not even fake, fam. Okay, now it's getting really bad. <laughs> it's not, it's so. We are back home. Um, so my face started hurting and I was wearing my Marnie slides and it's not completely like the most comfortable shoes to like be walking around in for like 30 minutes, like hours, you know what I'm saying? So I had to go back home to kind of like rest my feet a little bit because it's starting to really hurt and like I'm, I'm having like blisters all over my feet right now. So I need to somewhat find a wearable shoe that's like good for walking around. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to Selfridges in a bit. I'm just trying to rest my feet right now. Round two. Actually, no, round like four already. <laughs> but these are the only shoes that I got that I brought with me because I thought I'd be comfortable to walk around in. Where are we going? Street. Today. So we're gonna do like a little bit more street style, but I am going to be wearing like for the actual outfit I'm gonna be wearing heels. There we have these pair of jeans that I got from like an Instagram shop And it just has like the Visu little logo at the back Super cute and then I'm gonna be wearing the pearl top This pearl top and then I'm also also gonna be wearing this like fur jacket because it's gonna be kind of chilly I think Okay, also I want to thank Ritual for sponsoring today's video. I've just recently started taking their Essential for Women multivitamins and honestly I just love that this is a multivitamin because I can't even get myself to stay consistent with taking vitamins in general that my body needs on the daily. So, so far I've been loving it, especially because it has this minty taste which makes it a lot easier and more enjoyable to take. It is also vegan friendly, gluten free, allergen free, non GMO, and contains no added sugar. It is also gentle on an empty stomach with a delayed capsule design. It basically helps fill in the gaps in our diet with nutrients that are difficult to get enough of every day, even on a healthy diet. So, if you guys are interested, Ritual is offering you guys 20% off one month's worth of vitamins or protein with my link and using my code Colleen20 at checkout. So, I just 
probably changed, but our jewelry today is from Sora Vintage. Um, I got this like little kind of like a three-layered pearl necklace, and then I got my pearl earring to match. This is our look. And then I'm gonna be wearing my like little fur jacket and my Marnie's and then Wontons, and I'm like, what the freak? I'm not the biggest fan of wontons. Yeah, but I really like wontons, so it was, it was, it was the like best, a, best. <laughs> but um, the wacky um, okay, was Okay, first absolutely, of all, that was yesterday. Uh, so I'm really still liked, raving about it yesterday. Bro. He really liked the uh, wacky or whatever the six from Six and Sushi. The but tonight's dinner better be freaking amazing. If is not, it Asian? No. Theme? No. What is it? I'm taking a video. <laughs> you get lost. Like tomorrow or the next day. So, how's it being rich and beautiful? Oh wait, it's right there. It being rich and beautiful. Huh? Oh yeah, let's take a picture. Smoking out the window. Shoes for the picture, I and I have to change that. back to my mornings because it's we're walking. Change, so. It's the most expensive dinner in the world. The caption of this video is $5,000 dinner because that's how much it feels like. We have a dinner rezzo at 6 and it's 5 30. It takes 40 minutes to get there, and we're still here. The, the princess is a little. You know, not cranky, but like, you know, I really have yeah, no choice right so. now. We have to make the dinner regardless. Dude, and it was worth saying about her. No, that's it's, because it's, literally I hate being late. I hate like having, being crunch on time. Don't you let me sleep an hour? I'm like, fam, <laughs> it would <laughs> ask you. <laughs> it would ask you to let me Please, sleep an hour. Feel free to dislike because of his no. terrible British accent. So, me and Dixon are at dinner. He surprised me for my birthday. So it's like happy birthday to me. <laughs> Look at the presentation. That's crazy. Anyways. So that's like waffle, some type of waffle. And uh, what? Truffle. What is it? Cured beef or something like that. Cured beef. They cured it for like eight months or so. Nine. Nine months. Crazy. We should probably slow down. Looks <laughs> like dessert. Yummy. Mm. Really good. That's crap. Like round two. Fight. I hate you. This is good as my small gift. How do I my, my hand looks weird? Well, you're not using that so How do I go? Teach <laughs> <laughs> Look at their butter, you guys. Some good bread. I'm going to butter this one, guys. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so now we're on to some rolls. I forgot what the main part of this meal is. Is it the egg? The... Huh? Great. So that's what actual truffle is. Actually, you better fill it Huh? Huh? The vegetables and the sprinkles. The warmth, freshness of it. The Yeah, yeah, no. That's cold. That was part of, yeah, that's part of just keeping him warm. Beautiful sunny day. is lunch. I'm hungry. So we're gonna try some dumplings. Okay. And then we can um, get the ice cream for later. Yeah. Good morning. You guys are probably wondering, how did I get here? I feel like the eight hour time difference has finally started hitting me. And also obviously the fact that whenever I go on trips, like I like to plan out my itinerary. We like try to do things every single day. And that's why I feel like my body has been kind of like shutting down a little bit because We've just been kind of like go, go, go. That could be really tiring, especially on an eight hour time difference. So, so yeah, I really wanted to kind of like give my body a little bit of rest instead of like really trying to drain myself out of all the energy that I have left. I don't know if I'm like weak or like I'm too much of a baby, but like my body can't stand doing so much every single day. But here we are. I don't want to feel bad that I'm not doing anything. I feel like my body's just so tired that it deserves to rest a little bit so I can like pick myself back up tomorrow and do more things, so. Let's see if you can figure out a way out of town when I'm not there. Hey, so this is the one we're doing? No, we're not taking the bus. We're taking Northern and Victoria. And that's Northern and Victoria. La, 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 la. Okay. So I... And hopefully you don't yeah, end up in Birmingham with this shorty route. The last time I talked to you guys, it was when I was sleeping. Last time sleeping she talked to you guys, she the hotel. wanted to sleep. And well, she, I did. she got mad at me for going out with her. But, yeah, but um, I thought it'd be really fun to do like a little night adventure because. I thought it would be fun to do a night adventure. Me too. No, he didn't. He was a good <laughs> But yeah, I just like the fact that like it's gonna be like really empty and you know. I like the fact, and then she liked it. After. But yeah. We're trying to route to like a certain area to take some pictures, um, but Dixon's trying to GPS it because he doesn't know where we're going. But we're at this really dark alley. I don't think we're going the right way. How can you know where we're going? You've never been there before. I mean, look, look at this. I don't think we're going anywhere. I Honestly. hate how when she holds the camera, we're just she on a walk together. All I get is a hot fucking face. <laughs> Ready? Behind the scenes, the one with the walking shots is us leaving the camera and walking away and walking back. So yeah. Edits. But okay, basically, I redid my hair because I wanted to retake the picture that I took during the first day that we went out. And so I'm currently wearing the same vests and stuff. I have to like change. Dedication, man. Content time, baby. Yes, My job is literally really just embarrassing myself. You come change your shoes. I don't have no shoes. Do you think I'm blind? Completely. Right? I like it better. Street farm. Go back to the street. Let's do another angle. to order Uber Eats because he's hungry. I'm not even hungry. Yes, you are. I'm not hungry. And I'm tired. 
104. We are now heading to a grocery shop because it's Dixon. No grocery shop. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. Um, yeah, like a little bodega type meat. So I really want something good to drink. Like, I also have to consider tomorrow morning because I always wake up really hungry and like nothing, nothing good to eat, you know? So I'm trying to figure out something that's a good breakfast. What to do? Cheers. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, no, stop. I'm gonna go to some songs while we go. <laughs> what? We're heading to Bond Street. I actually want to shop. This is my You look like you work here. Anything else you want? <laughs> I hope I find one you need one. This is the same one from here. We just finished up at Margiela. Um, now we're heading to Bottega. Dixon really wanted to get her first pair of Margiela's, but didn't end up doing it. I really like the coat at the MM6 location. The gray coat. That's a really nice day. I'm in a really good mood. Ready to spend some money. So we're at Bottega right now. Just trying the puddle boots, even though like literally everyone has them. But I wanted like something comfortable. I don't know if I like it. I don't really like the silhouette to be honest. I just wanted to try it on. Yo hey, fam, the air in London is different though. Like you breathe it and feel it. It's different, mad different. No vibes. Not even that, just like it just makes you feel alive when you come from no, a no, dead no, ass you city. Convert, you can think over everything to I should probably stop like this accent. Two. I should probably stop this accent, honestly. Because it's probably cringy at this point, but I'm just having fun. My name's Iman. I'm the creative director of Seven, and you're here with us at Shoreditch House. <laughs> but yeah, guys, it's a blessing to meet Colleen and the fam. Honestly, love you guys so much. I feel like when you move here, you've got friends in us, Stefan. Good morning. Actually, good evening. So I just got back from meeting the owners of Seventh, um, and I had dinner even though I didn't really eat my dinner. I honestly like don't normally like eat like whenever I'm like talking to people like meeting people I normally don't even touch my food so I still have my food over here barely even touched it so I'm gonna eat that tonight but today's a really great day you know when you just like know that you're having a good day and like you know today was gonna be a good day it was such a vibe and I really really loved my trip tomorrow I'm meeting my cousin and we're gonna go around probably like vintage shopping but I'm feeling this coat 
What's that jacket, Marjel? I'm gonna be wearing this coat for the rest of my life. And I love how like oversized and you know baggy it looks. Um, it has like the perfect silhouette that I really wanted on a coat. So, good morning. Today's my last day in London, and I am gonna meet up with my cousin. Um, I actually visited them before when I went to London last time, but I didn't really get to vlog around her and stuff like that. So we'll meet her. So I'm just about to get ready and leave right now. I'm pretty much going to be wearing the same outfit that I wore yesterday um, with a Margiela coat and stuff because I didn't get to wear it out that long. So, you know, so I'm just trying to figure out my hair right now. I have to leave in a little bit. It's currently like 11 right now. We're about to head out for lunch. I'm going to go get ready really quickly. I'm wearing my Taka jeans again. You know what? This top is very tricky because you don't want to have a nip slip. So that this is what we look like i think i'm gonna do a little bit of jewelry i honestly will never get sick of wearing pearls and then i'll do like a little silver chain and then you know the main event is my margiela coat okay it's like i love this coat so much prepare to be sick of me and of course my bottega ow just like that me with my freaking hotel slippers on. Here's my cousin. Hi guys. Introduce yourself. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys. I know she hasn't posted in so long. I um wait. Ew, this is like an interview. Yes. Yeah. But we're currently at you this like me. Italian place. Janina, Gigi. But we're just really eating at this like Italian restaurant. I, I look pale. orange, hold on. <laughs> you guys, guys, she shitted. I am not eating cheese ever again. This whole trip, every time I ate cheese, I had to literally take the number two. There's something so. in the water. I'm never taking There's cheese again. Something in the cheese. I literally, oh my gosh. No, that I'm was totally the most uncomfortable thing ever. No, 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 I'm, I'm doing this. Come on. Stand straight. Probably the same height, to be honest. But, but maybe not. Maybe not, actually. I think maybe my head's a little bit bigger than you. You have a longer torso. Probably. I've got where does legs. your Where does your belly button sit? Up here. Oh, damn, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got longer She says gym sure. body. I know, look at the ass. <laughs> you should just sleep over. <laughs> Guys, I asked her to do my bangs. Yeah. Look what she's done. <laughs> it's not that bad. Okay, actually, that's cute. That's really cute. <laughs> <laughs> My forehead. <laughs> Going on. Holly's <laughs> in the chocolate fact. Holly's <laughs> <laughs> in the chocolate box, bro. It's not plugged in, baby. No, no, I'm just brushing it out. Oh, okay. We went to Brick Lane first, and then I had to. We went. Okay, we went to go to the washroom, right? But literally, like I had to fucking shit. So bad. I was in there and I was contemplating whether I should shit in public, but honestly, there was like, a key behind there as well. So we're gonna go back to Brick Lane, and we'll see you later. We're gonna go shopping. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at that car. So pretty. <laughs> We're at Zara, trying to find her some pair of shoes. Okay, you're shopping for everything that you don't need. Do I need any more heels? Guys, success. Success. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. What are you going to do now? In a circular motion with your finger, start rubbing it in for five to ten seconds. What does this do? It's exfoliator. Oh. oh yeah. Do you know what this is? 
This is basically dead skin and dirt inside your skin. You're getting rid of it. Remember, this is to be used on the face, but your wrist is dirty as well. It's fine. I've seen customers of pure black come out of the skin. <laughs> this is not bad. Now, if you compare your wrist together, you see a lighter texture of tone, and it will stay like this form. So just received the best news ever so kind of like teary-eyed but today has been a really great day I am ready to pack I still need to get my COVID test tomorrow um, morning before I actually leave to the airport I have my flight at 2 30 so we are gonna go ahead and pack up um, I want to make sure that everything is you know all set to go by tomorrow morning i don't want to pack last minute because i don't want to go through the hassle even though i'm literally getting my covid test like the, the last day that i'm here but Jesus, like 